echoes of the Bristol heart scandal. But that is very different. It stretched on for a decade, 29 babies died, and doctors were struck off. The difference here is the surgeon himself raised the alarm, and he's now operating in London without any restrictions on his practice. All right, Fergus. Thanks very much. Thank you. The Prime Minister has been defending his plain-speaking style of diplomacy after remarks on his current overseas trip upset both Israel and Pakistan. Yesterday, David Cameron, who spent the last two days in India to promote economic ties, linked Pakistan with the export of terror. He told the BBC's Laura Koonsberg that British foreign policy should be realistic, practical and hard-headed. The chaos of old Delhi. It seems far away from the new India David Cameron wants to draw close. But Prime Minister's trips to foreign countries are not always orderly. David Cameron came on this trip promising to take jobs home. But he leaves having struck a new British tone for talking about affairs abroad. Yes, he observed the usual public niceties, the old diplomatic traditions, but are his plain words on the fraught situations in Gaza and Pakistan the awkward first foreign steps of a new prime minister or evidence of a different approach? I think it's important to speak frankly about the problems as you see them. I mean, I think that is uh, what people expect of their government. I think it's the right thing to do. Some people have raised eyebrows at how blunt your language has been. Is this a new diplomacy and isn't there a risk with it? Well, I just think that in life and in politics it's better to say what you think and to try and be realistic and practical and hard-headed that's what i think uh, british foreign policy should be about this place the red fort is now a symbol of india's independence but david cameron's boldness may have piqued other nations pride it's clear the prime minister believes that frankness is for the best but there is a risk that telling the truth can sometimes hurt south asia needs stability and it needs all the countries to be working together. They need support from countries like Britain and that's why I think it's very important that the Prime Minister of course should be speaking frankly but it's not the same to be a straight talker as to be a loudmouth and he must avoid the temptation to be the latter. David Cameron's clearly tried to charm India. Smashing a six against cricket star Kapil Dev, thanking his hosts for the warm welcome of his hotel's butler. And as in Turkey, his straight talking has played well in the country where he spoke, if not with its close neighbours. We like to get it straight. Uh, this practice of coming to India and saying nice things to India, going to Pakistan and saying things they want to hear, has been a big problem with uh, leaders from both the United States and Britain. But this journey was meant to be about creating jobs in Britain. And while some deals have been sealed, it's taken a different direction, leaving some wondering if honesty is always the best foreign policy. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News, Delhi. A battle between the Treasury and the Ministry of Defence over budget cuts has come out into the open today. The Chancellor, George Osborne, has said that the £20 billion cost of renewing...